An expert review by the Health Information and Quality Authority has recommended the ending of universal BCG vaccination for infants. It says only those deemed at risk of tuberculosis should be immunised. This would mean just one in eight infants being vaccinated. The BCG vaccine is given to infants to protect against tuberculosis. A review by the Health Information and Quality Authority says TB rates are falling here. It advises that Ireland move away from universal vaccination and only immunise at-risk children. We now meet the international criteria to discontinue universal vaccination of all infants and move to a programme of selective vaccination of just those who are at high risk. The decline in incidence has meant that the potential to benefit has declined for the majority of children who are at low risk. Ireland and Portugal are the two countries in Western Europe still operating a universal BCG vaccination scheme. If the HICWA advice is accepted by government, in future, just one in eight infants will get the vaccine. That would mean 8,000 infants being immunised instead of 61,000, reducing the incidence of unnecessary side effects and saving over a million euro a year under the planned changes. Vaccination would focus on those born in or whose parents are from a country with a high incidence of TB, people in contact with patients with active respiratory TB, and members of the traveller community. HICWA says the changes can only happen in conjunction with enhanced TB control measures. The HSE will now conduct a review of the funding issues and timeline for any change in BCG vaccination. The Department of Health said today it will then consider the HICWA report and the HSE review before deciding the next steps. HICWA is advising parents to continue having their children vaccinated until the issue is decided. Fergal Bowers, RTE News.